Welcome to the part 8 of this character modeling series. In this video, we are quickly going to model his next gen. So let's get into the video. I start by adding a torus. Then change the segments from the bottom menu. Turn on the symmetry option from the top Then select these vertices, leave the middle one And move it on X axis Delete this middle edge so we get these straight edges Now add the edge look on the middle again You can move some edges toward the center Here we got the single link for the chain and now we can move to create the chain first let's scale it down the torus because it's little bit too big now add a circle curve then select the torus mask and add array modifier you can change the array counts let's add an empty this will be the target for our chain offset now select the chain and turn off the relative offset then check the object offset with empty as a target Let's move the empty object in x-axis Right now it does not look like a chain But if we rotate the empty object in x-axis by 90 degree We get something like a chain You can increase and decrease the array counts Now add a curve modifier Then select the circle curve as a curve object Now in array modifier Change the fill type to fit curve then select the curve as a target again let me just increase the thickness of the chain if the chain ended up like this you can move the empty object in x-axis Now select the chain object empty and the curve then move it up all together select the curve and go into edit mode then you can move these curve points to get the shape of the chain The chain is still too big So just select the chain and go into edit mode to scale it down The chain is getting smaller as we want but there is a gap So select the empty and move it to the right side Now we can modify the chain shape with the curve Just select the curve points 
and move it to get this shape So that's it for this video. In the next one, we will start hair modeling. Thank you for watching me. I will see you in the next one. Ja, mata ne.